What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Um, subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Racism while buying luxury isn't a struggle. So, recently, the rapper Jim Jones went live and did a quick video about how he wasn't getting good enough service at a Gucci store. And they had to call for the manager and he spent like $29,000 in the store buying stuff. And here's the thing. It kind of looks weird. And I, and I recently talked about how I, I said a lot of guys who are, um, quote unquote, the image of gangsters are fashionistas. And this is kind of along that line where it was Black History Month You're in black culture. The music you make will be considered aggressive, gangster rap. You know, killing, drug dealing, beating people up. You know, and and and, and evolving and growing up from there. But y'all never y'all never cease to amaze me how, you know, just like recently he had beat up Freddie Gibbs at a restaurant. I want to say in Miami, or him and his people, and. Probably was a fine dining establishment, but he didn't care. He was on site because there's another black person. You know, and Freddie Gibbs, you know, I already said what I said about him. Like, you know, coming from his family and, and doing the gangster thing, it just doesn't go well. So I get what Jim Jones did. I'm not even going to say he's in the wrong for that. But I just want to contrast these two things where you can't be gangster with black folks and then file an online complaint with white folks. That just, you know, if you're going to be gangster, you got to be 10 toes down all the way. Like, you know, if you were spending $29,000 with somebody black and they were disrespecting you, it would be a problem. It would be a problem. But the issue is because it's white folks and luxury, all of a sudden, you know, it's like, White establishments got, got people's gangster on the leash. Like, you know you're not going to do nothing up in here. And it's, and it's still like the, yes, I'm not, but y'all so wrong. It's like, well, wait a minute. You want to smoke weed in front of the cops. But when you get in the Gucci store, you're arguing about them not serving you sparkling water. And you're giving them your money. Like, if you was, an, if you was a D-boy... And you gave somebody twenty nine. Let's just let's just round it up. Thirty thousand dollars, thirty k, thirty stacks, whatever you want to call it. And they disrespected you. It's gonna be a problem. But to constantly go into these places and be disrespected, and just and and just take it on the chin, for me isn't a struggle. And on top of that, it doesn't even look like you guys wear these kind of clothes. Y'all always dressed up in athletic gear with maybe some some designer sneakers on, you know. Every now and then you might have a jacket or some jeans on, but a lot of this is just, just flashy outfits for no reason, right? Because their quality, you know, their quality isn't, isn't isn't far and away beyond things you can get for less money. But their brand definitely is. You know, somebody got a Gucci t shirt, the brand is definitely higher. But you know, you 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 buy a Gucci shirt, Versace shirt, you know, y'all getting ball man, whatever that is, you know, um used to be wide sale and all that other stuff. Just just designer clothes, right? You know, Goyard bags and you know, Louis Vuitton stuff, it's a problem. But here's another thing. Because something ha actually happened. I was listening to somebody who's in a pro-black community talking about pro-black issues. But they had on Louis Vuitton clothes. And I was like, well, it's kind of ironic to be so pro-black with Louis Vuitton on. Like, you couldn't... You, you, 
you know, they're black designers. And this wasn't like, um, um, it's just regular. It wasn't something that, say, was designed by somebody black. It wasn't like, you know, uh, Gucci with Dapper Dan. It wasn't like that. It was just regular old Louis Vuitton. It wasn't like something somebody else uh, made that was black. It wasn't something like Virgil would have made or something. Rest in peace to Virgil, by the way. Um, but this idea that, you know, I can't buy luxury items or I'm treated badly while I'm buying luxury items, but I'm taking the luxury items with me. Yeah, and I'm going live about these people disrespecting me in this white establishment. But at the same time, I would punch a black person in the face for this if this was a black establishment. Though, like, the security guard or the manager was ha happening to be black. But I'm talking about it's under that banner of this is a white person's establishment. If it was, you know, um, let me see. If it was, say, a FUBU back in the day, or, I'm trying to think of something, you know, you wouldn't do this. Like, people talk about buying Jordans all the time, how there's a fight, you know, that people fight for Jordans, you know, but and people are killed for Jordans, but it's like, when it comes to these luxury items, you won't fight for those and you won't kill for those because you don't want these white folks to cut you off. You don't, they don't, you don't want them to cut your water off and say you can't have this designer material. And that's just not gangster. And, and, that's, not, and that's not black. And that comes off as weak. Especially if you're in the business of saying what you would you will hurt somebody for doing less. You know what I'm saying? You're paying to be disrespected and at the same time saying you're hard. It just makes no sense. But um, tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, subscribe or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.